Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to do a review of a battery case that I picked up on Amazon. Now I picked up this smart battery case. I think I paid like $20, $25 for it. And uh, it's a very good deal actually. Um, and I think it's like a 5,000 milliampere battery. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Now this battery is actually for the iPhone 8 Plus. Now I know a lot of you have had this phone for a couple years that do have this phone. Um, it was released about three years ago. So um, some of you probably have... Uh, you know battery issues and uh, this is probably the best thing to do is to get a battery case if you have a battery issue so you don't have to spend a lot of money to replace a battery because battery can cost you over $100, $150 to replace where this thing only costs about 20 25 bucks on Amazon and it gives you you know an extra 5,000 milli-hours and this is only I believe less than 3,000 I think 2,900 milli-hours or something like that or 2,650 so let's go ahead and look at the battery health on the one that I have. So uh, battery percentage now last 10 days. Okay, battery health. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now I'm at maximum capacity of 86%. So, you know, that's that's probably average for about a phone that's been out for a couple of years. Um, I think they deteriorate probably like a percent a month or something like that. Because I think my iPhone 7 is at like 97% and it's been like two months or three months since I've had it. So, All right, so let's go ahead and uh, open this up here All right, and see what's in the box. It's just plain and simple here. Here's the battery case. All right, now it's not too heavy. All right, now this one is actually an 8,500 milli-hours. Now, imagine at 8,500, I mean, you're getting almost three times the amount of capacity that's on the regular iPhone 8 Plus. So what you do is basically you just go ahead and uh, you have to just connect it down here to the lightning port. All right, so you're going to have to go from the top here and then just kind of push it in without, you have to be really careful because you don't want to break any of the pins in there. All right, so that's in there right now. And then I, I just push it in and, okay, that wasn't too hard. Now it's going to add some heft to it. But that's, you know, normal because you just added an 8,500 milli-hour battery here to it. But uh, all in all, you know, it, I think it's, uh, you know, this is a very good purchase. You know, if you want to get an extra, you know, couple days out of your battery, I think with 8,500, you really don't have to worry about traveling too much. Um, I think this battery is uh, going to be more than adequate, you know, if you don't have a you know charger handy. I think this would be per perfect. So let's see what else is in the box. So it's got a power case manual. Okay. And then uh, it's got a happy, unhappy. And it tells you where to uh, contact them. So there's the email right there. So um, I think this is a very good purchase. Now, I don't know if this battery actually has any power. So it's not showing anything up here. So let's see if I connected everything right. So I think I need to charge this but I will end up charging it and then when I do charge it I'll do a full review after using it so just kinda wanna let you guys you know see what this thing looks like and uh, it's got this little kinda rubbery feeling in the back now it's gonna leave some fingerprints but it is what it is okay so there is a button back here that you can press and I think that button's gonna activate the battery case and there you go see now it's showing that it's charging so there we go so okay we just figure that out and then i guess if you don't want to drain this battery case you just go ahead and uh press this button right here again and that's going to turn it off okay and so now now i'm at 47 percent and now i'm going to go ahead and press this button again and you guys can watch how it's going to go ahead and turn itself on there you go boom all right cool so this is a very good investment, so I do recommend it, and uh, just use the regular lightning port to charge it, just like you would any other phone that you have that's an iPhone, and you're good to go. Well, that's it for this video, guys. hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget, subscribe down below.